Kitchen and to Off Grid Desert Farming with Paul and Adrian. And I'm Adrian. And uh, you know how everybody has a go-to recipe that they uh, take to a function or a holiday party or Thanksgiving or whatever. Uh, one of my go-to uh, recipes is my pumpkin spice cake. And it's quick and easy. Except this time, I, you know, usually I get a can of pumpkin because it calls for 16 ounces of pumpkin. But since I already had pumpkins, I just cut one up and then I cooked it and then I had to puree it and drain it and all that good stuff, so it took me a little bit longer. But anyway, here is the recipe. And I already got the uh, dry ingredients in this bowl. I got two cups sifted all-purpose flour, two teaspoons baking soda, two teaspoons cinnamon, one teaspoon baking powder, a half a teaspoon salt, and two cups of sugar. I also added a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice because I, I like that. And so the wet ingredients is over here and I'll whisk together four eggs, one cup of vegetable oil, and the two cups of sugar. I also added a half a teaspoon of vanilla in there because that's a good flavor. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour these all together. And I've got my pumpkin puree here, 16 ounces. We'll get that in there too. And it's a pretty simple recipe if you don't knock the bowls over. Let me go ahead and get the last bits of this out. I don't like to waste anything. Waste not, want not. My mom always told me. All right. See if I can whisk this. Might need a bigger bowl or use a spoon. Yeah, let me uh, use that spoon there. Getting it going here. I guess this is the longest part of the recipe, putting them together. I've already got my pup butt cake pan here. I've uh, sprayed on some uh, some olive oil spray and then I dusted it with a little bit of uh, uh, plain flour just to make sure it don't stick. Let's see how we go here. I'm going to be sure to get this all the wet and the dry ingredients together. If you don't you might bite into something that's got a puff of, of dry flour, and that is never fun, is it? So, it is the eve of Thanksgiving. And everybody all over the United States, most of them, unless they're having to work, are making some uh, stuff that they can go ahead for Thanksgiving tomorrow. We're going to be doing our turkey and all the goodies tomorrow, and hopefully we will be live streaming if nothing unforeseen happens. <laughs> you know, as the Bible says, if it's God's will. All right, here we go. I do have a, since this was homemade pumpkin, I did have a few chunks of pumpkin in there, so... And it wasn't canned pumpkin. Whoops. There's a, a pocket of flour. Do not want that. There we go. Yeah, when I first tried to, first time I ever uh, said, had a pumpkin, I said, well, how do you make, you know, how do you make pumpkin for your pie? So you have to peel the pumpkin. You got to dice it up. And then you gotta cook it for probably 35, 40 minutes on the stove top. Then you've got some kind of a blender, you need to blend it real good. So you got it and then drain it. Alrighty. Since it had a little bit of flour in there, I'm gonna stir that around. And here we go. Into the oven. Well, I 
should have uh, maybe adjusted that before I got the oven going. Alrighty. It's been a while since I did a box. There we go. Yeah. And I'll cook that at 350 for an hour. And then we'll be back. See how it tastes. And see you later, alligator. Hey, welcome back. An hour has come and gone. And the house is smelling good like pumpkin spice. Alright, we're going to take this baby out. Woo, piping hot. There we go. Take a little bit of wrestling him out of that bunt pen. But uh, here's the finished product. Pumpkin spice cake. And if you want to add, you can put cream cheese frosting on it from a can. Or you can uh, make your own cream cheese frosting with some cream cheese and some powdered sugar. And also you can get fancy and make the little maraschino cherries and uh, make a little wreath around there. But everybody will really like this cake. This is a good cake and it smells really good in here tonight. So it's way past my eating window so uh, we're going to have this for Thanksgiving tomorrow and I'd like to invite everybody over. Y'all have a great evening. We'll see you. Bye bye.